<laughs> so today I wanted to just um, show you how you can just um, take some pre-built images out of Illustrator and bring them in and have a little bit of fun with them in Flash. So to demonstrate this, I opened up Illustrator and I've just created a document, any, any document, to say file new and whatever it says is fine because we're just going to use this as a pasteboard for a moment. And uh, what I've done is I've opened the Symbols menu, which is under Window, Symbols. There it is. And I'm going to hold down on this little menu icon, and it's going to say Open Symbol Library. Now there's a long list, and it's going off of the screen. And the one that I used, which is below your screen, is called Tiki. And here it is. You can see that there's lots of crazy different things. Um, you don't have to use Tiki, but here's just a few of the ones that are in Tiki. Um, lovely fish, and here is that car that I used, and uh, all I'm going to do here is make it a little bit larger, and I, I recommend that you use something simple. There's some fairly complicated symbols in here, like this, this little tiki house, which can be a bit much, <laughs> but uh, not, not to stop you, but anyway, keep it simple. So I've got my car. And what I want to do is, um, I can close this up, is just make sure I select it all. And not all of these are drawn equally, but you'll find out pretty quickly. I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to go back to Flash, and I'm going to go and make a new scene. And I'm going to go and paste, just paste my car right on my scene. And here it comes. It's saying prepare to import. Now there's other ways that you can bring I um, you can bring Illustrator files in. You can open AI files, but this is just a a, a real quick way to do it. Um, we want to use the AI filter importer preferences, which more or less means it's going to keep them as vector files. And also we want to maintain the layers for the moment. So I'm going to say OK, and there's my car just as you saw it in my little animation a moment ago. It is the blue one. And um, if I want to animate it, just you know, move it around, I can turn it into a symbol. But what I want to do is I want to separate out the wheels so that I can make those turn just for fun. So what I need to do is go Modify, and I need to break this apart. Now the first time I break it apart, apparently nothing happens. I'm going to use the keystroke, which is Command-B, Command-B. And now you can see that I've got lots of little pieces, parts. In fact, you know, true to Illustrator, I could take all the different pieces, parts. But what I want to do is just take one of these wheels, and it can be a little tricky. I want to make sure I get all the wheels, so I'm just going to pull it off to the side. And there it is. And I want to convert my wheel into a symbol, so I want to use the F8 command. And if you're on your laptop, don't forget you need to hold down the FN key. I'm going to use a movie clip. I'm going to say wheel. And because I have one already in my library, I'll say wheel two. And now I'm going to actually get rid of this wheel because I don't need two wheels. Great. And now I'm going to take the car without the wheel. And I'm also going to turn that into a symbol. So F8 again. And I'm going to say car again for my purposes. I'm going to say car two because I've already got one. And there I've got my, my car. So what I've done in the other animation is that I've got the car and I've got the wheel. Let's put them on separate layers. I can do that either by deleting and replacing or just say distribute to layers. Helps if you have them selected, but it looks like looks like I got lucky. So here's my wheel, here's my car. And let's say I'm going to call this, rename this to say rear, and then I'm going to make another layer and call this front wheel or whatever front. And I'm going to go get that uh, wheel again from my library. There it is. I'm going to drag it out here, and I'm going to kind of position it behind my car. So there's one wheel, the rear wheel. Here's the front wheel. And now I'm going to take all three elements and put a tween on them. And from here, you can do anything that you've been doing. You can change the colors. You can have them move. I'm just going to add a little bit of time. Keep forgetting I'm on my laptop, I have to hold down that FN key. So there we go. And I'm going to make sure that I have my wheel, front wheel positioned where I really want it. 
And I want to take both of my wheels and I want to put a rotation on them. What a surprise! So this is for 50 frames, pushing three seconds at 15 frames per. Uh, let's go ahead and click on the tweens, which allows me to put a rotation on them. I'm going to have them rotate two times. And I want them to be going clockwise. And so now my wheels are turning. And they look like they're turning in the wrong direction. So let's change that and make it counterclockwise. Let's see if that looks better. Now you'll notice that, much like the other animation, what's happening is the car is sitting still. That looks better. And what I'm going to do, or what you could do, is have something moving beneath it to give it the illusion. And then to give that car the sort of bumpiness, um, all I did was come frame by frame first, well, <laughs> put a tween on it. Oh, that has one. Good. And then I'm going to use my arrow keys. So I'm going to just go up a couple pixels, come a few frames later, down a couple pixels, up, down, just to give it that sort of bouncing thing that was made it look more like a funky old car that it is. And there we go. So now I've got my car, the wheels are turning. And, uh, yeah, so uh, to give it the color effect, just like anything else, I can say tinted, and I think in the other one, oh, look at that, how convenient. I tinted it sort of a burgundy color, but of course you can pick, you know, any color you want. I just wanted it to be really different from my, uh, from my um, police car, which I kept the blue, so I went with the opposite almost, which is a, a reddish color. And you need to do that with the wheels, too, unless you want them to look differently. Uh, let's give them a, hmm, a purplish tint, purple gray, just so they look a little different. And there you have it. Car. I know. Oh, oh, what caused that? What do you think caused that? Mm -hmm. It's because I put the tint on at the <laughs> at the end and not the beginning. What fun, right? So let's pick that same color. Burgundy-ish color. And apply it. That's a little more like it. It's still going to change over time, but generally good. All right, have some fun. Take an Illustrator image, paste it in, and make it move.